it's starting to hit me that tomorrow the door's shut and, and that's it for another month. So today, every head counts. At this barber shop in Bedford, they've crammed two weeks worth of business into a few days, working late before lockdown. I'm pretty sure we'll get some support from the government and stuff, but we are going to be losing a lot of money over the coming month and the unpredictability of it if it is only a month. In the town centre, a last minute dash to the shops. What have you been buying? Uh, Christmas cards and a few other bits and pieces. To get a few presents so that at least if it doesn't open in December, we've got some bits. I'm just coping with it. Same as we did last time. It will be, will be. You know, there's nothing we can do about it. There's no point worrying, is there? This couldn't come at a worse time for the retail and hospitality industry. Slap bang in the run up to Christmas, where many businesses make most of their profits. They started Christmas early at this shop, worried about another lockdown. Now they're racing to sell their products online. I'm just furiously taking pictures of everything in the shop and getting it onto the website. I am a bit anxious about being able to sell all this because, I mean, the worst thing for us is to have a ton of Christmas stock that just has to go into storage that's been paid for that we're not making any money on. Down the road at the Forester's Arms, they're barely breaking even but they're doing some cut-price pints tonight so they don't have to throw beer away. This lockdown feels harder. I think we sort of took our medicine before, thinking it was the right thing to do, um, the greater good. And this time round, um, we've put every safety measure in place. I think everyone's following the rules very well and it almost seems um, a step backwards now. They'll start takeaways to help them through. Like all businesses affected, they just hope they'll be able to reopen for December. Emma Simpson, BBC News, Bedford.